Welcome to Fitech Tech Tuesday. Today we're going to go over our 50,019 in tank fuel cell module. Today we have the Go Fuel Returnless in tank module with fuel fill, the 50,019. In the kit we have a high flow fuel pump, we have a fuel sock, we have all the bolts and nuts to hold everything together. Have a clamp for the fuel pump to the <coughs> extension housing. Here's a gasket for the fuel filler or O ring. And here's another fuel sock. And you've got the rings and the foam to seal it all off. Little covers for the uh, electrical terminals. All right, we have the fuel cap. That O ring goes on here to seal the cap. This is the module. It's uh, even though it says returnless because it has a fuel regulator. Uh, you can run an external regulator at the, at the engine uh, and run the return line back here. But for most cases, you'll just you'll just cap this off. And of course, you have a vent and then your high pressure feed line to the to the engine. So a pretty slick little device. So before we can install the new module, we have to take out the old fuel cap. So I'm just going to pull this off and use an electric gun and take these out. This tank has never had any fuel in it. The first thing you should do is just try to match up the holes that are in there to your new gasket. Because the tank is flat, we don't need the real thick uh, gasket. That's only for a tank that might have some waves in it. So now we're going to measure the depth of the tank to set up the fuel pump. So we've got eight and three quarters to the top of the gasket. So we're going to set the pump at eight and a half and give a quarter inch at the bottom. So I'm factoring in the thickness of the sock and I'm going to set the pump at eight and a quarter to the end of the pump. So you got to mark two places. You got to mark it where you're going to cut the support and then you got to mark the filler pipe. Pull this cap off of course and the clamp that's going to go on. Because there's a lot of extra length cord for a deep tank, I'm just going to wrap it around so it doesn't get in the way when you're trying to install it. Slide this over the top. Well, now we'll have to cut the return line. This is going to be longer than the tank bottom. We don't need the big sock on this one. We'll put the small sock. And that's it. This ring not only seals the top, but it keeps it, the cap from coming loose. So you want to make sure that this is always on your module. Now you can feel it when you tighten it. It seals against the O-ring and it's hard to get the cap back off. All right, we've got the C-ring that, that holds the uh, pump in from the bottom up. And you're thinking, well, how do I hold that C-ring in while I put the bolts down? Well, it's very easy. Just insert the C-ring, and then you're gonna take two of these long studs and thread them in, across from each other. All right. So then you can use the gasket over the studs, and there's enough tension to hold the C-ring up, just like that. So the C-ring's in there, you've got enough to work with here. So now we're going to go ahead and put the module in. So we want the fittings facing away from this uh, fuel sender because there wouldn't be enough clearance, so we're going to face them out that, that way. That holds the C-ring in, in place, so even if it fell down, you could still pull it back up. You have a 
sealing washers that go on the, the bolts. They're a special sealing washer. And they are a little bit tight to get on. So you're gonna, gonna need a little, little force to get them up there. But you wanna you're gonna push them up all the way. And then we're gonna install one of the bolts and catch the C-ring. All right, so I got one going. The electrical connections here, you have a positive and a negative. And of course, we're not gonna run a, on this particular application, we're not gonna run a return line, so this has to have a, a uh, metal cap, not the plastic for the cap this on. So we have a vent and a pressure feed. So for your, uh, your ground wire, of course, most people use black, uh, which is good, but you wanna use at least a 14 gauge wire. And you put it through the little cover that comes with the kit. There we go. Make sure you always tug on it. Make sure it's on there tight. And that's our ground wire. We're gonna put the power wire on, positive of course. And then you slide the boots down, protect the, the terminals. And that's how you install the 50,019.